here's what perfectionism really is. It's a way of thinking that says this, if I look perfect, live perfect, work perfect, I can avoid or minimize criticism, blame, and ridicule. That is the voice of number one bestseller, Brene Brown. And it's the second time we have had her on the show. She is the top downloaded Super You podcast, so we had to have her back. Today, she's going to give us an additional seven super tips, including why perfectionism doesn't shield you from shame. I'm Al Roker. I'm here with the Equal Man. Word of mouth is now world of mouth. Because someone asked, what's the social play? What's the mobile play? Our clients and customers are telling us, hey, we love what you're doing here. Are you doing more of that today? What I'm telling you here today, I'm not suggesting we get rid of face to face. Digital leaders are made, not born. Thank you for joining us for today's Super You Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Quam, and a lot of you know me as Equal Man. This show is designed to unlock and unleash your inner superpower. Each week, we bring you tips and tricks from the top thought leaders in the world that I've been blessed to meet often backstage, and one such guest is Brene Brown. Again, second time on the show. I remember coming back to the office and telling everyone they would listen to me. I was super excited. I go, oh my gosh, I just shared the stage with this woman that's going to be an absolute rock star. You are going to watch her star ascend rapidly. And sure enough, she has her own Netflix show now. She's been on Oprah. It did take off. It was just easy to see that. She was an amazing person, both backstage and also on stage. So without further ado, here is tip number one from Brene Brown. The, the definition of boundary that I use in the book, boundary is simply what's okay and what's not okay. What I think we do is we don't set boundaries. We let people do things that are not okay or get away with behaviors that are not okay. Then we're just resentful and hateful. Me, I'd rather be loving and generous and very straightforward with what's okay and what's not okay. Assume the best about people is almost an inherently selfish act because the life you change first is your own. As Renee mentions, we do not set boundaries because that's the easy thing to do. That's the easy path to take. Most of us like to avoid conflict, but setting boundaries in the short term is always a better long-term play. The greatest casualty of trauma is vulnerability. The the worst thing we lose in trauma is vulnerability. And let's be very clear about what constitutes trauma. Racism is trauma. Poverty is trauma. Classism, trauma. Homophobia, heterosexism, trauma. And so the, the biggest casualty of that is I can't be vulnerable. Well, when vulnerability, the, the ability to really be who we are, becomes a realm of only the privileged, we have lost our capacity to create a school, a home, and a country that we love. Brene, you firmly believe that vulnerability leads to courage and that you always say, embrace the suck, which I love. That's a great t-shirt. Embrace the suck. We struggle with perfectionism in areas where we feel most vulnerable to shame. Does that make sense? So we're all comfortable saying, yeah, I'm a little perfectionistic, which is code for like, I do things really well. Um, (laughs) But I don't really, I'm not comfortable saying I have shame, but perfectionism, what is that? I call it the 20 ton shield. Here's what perfectionism really is. It's a way of thinking that says this, if I look perfect, live perfect, work perfect, I can avoid or minimize criticism, blame, and ridicule. All perfectionism is, is the 20 ton shield that we carry around hoping that it'll keep us from being hurt. When in truth, what it does is it keeps us from being seen. Perfectionism does not shield you from shame. That's what we stress. Number one, first and foremost on this show is all about it's not being perfect. It's about being the perfect you. And I can't think of a more perfect guest than Brene Brown. Second time around. So great to have her back here for the second time. Again, she's the most downloaded podcast. So if you have not listened to the first Super You Brene Brown podcast, do yourself that favor and download that today.